A happy Tuesday, March the 28th to you. This is Drew Shelley from Crossville First United Methodist Church. Uh, we're sharing together our journey to life, Lent 2017. And uh, we are today looking at a, a reading from Carlo Coretta from his book, In Search of the Beyond. It's just uh, a lot to think about on a Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon. But I want to read it and then make a few comments here. Let's hear these words. We are not happy because we are unforgiving, and we are unforgiving because we feel superior to others. He starts out uh, with this very clear statement that is helpful for us during a Lenten season when we reflect on, uh, on where we are in our own faith journey and when we look for ways to repent, when we look for ways where we are not in line with God's call and God's dreams for our lives, uh, where we are taking hold of death instead of life. And so he says, we are not happy because we are unforgiving. And we are unforgiving because we feel superior to others. Mercy is the fruit of the highest degree of love because love creates equals and greater love makes us inferior. First, let us establish three premises. Those who do not love feel superior to everyone else. Those who do not love feel superior to everyone else. Those who love feel equal to everyone else. Those who love much gladly take the lower place. Each one of us can identify his position somewhere along this spectrum, which comprises the three degrees of the spiritual life here on earth. Death for those who do not love, life for those who love, and holiness for those who love much. The beatitude of the merciful relates, like all the Beatitudes, to this realm of holiness, and we have to admit that Jesus sets his sights high when he had the courage and confidence to place this lofty ideal before us. It is the Beatitude that he himself lived to the full, stooping out of love to the lowest place, even to the extent of being rejected as a common criminal, fit only to be hung on a cross. We are uh, given today the opportunity to reflect on love and this spectrum of love that Carlo Coretta offers for us. So today, think uh, much about love. Think about where you fall on this spectrum. And it changes, I know, from day to day if you're like me. But he began with this thought, those who do not love feel superior to everyone else. Those who love feel equal to everyone else. Those who love much gladly take the lower place. What is it to love our God and to love our neighbor as ourselves? What is it to love much as we go through today? Let us give some thought to that. Let's pray together. Oh Lord our God, we thank you for your love. We thank you that you loved so much that you indeed gave your entire life so that we might have life. Fill us with your love today and make us be your agents in this world, agents of love and grace. In the name of Jesus, amen.